Why is neck pain worse at night? Very often, if you are struggling with a bad neck, it can be fine during the day, but as soon as you lie down in bed, you can get off to sleep, but then two hours later, three hours later, that neck pain begins to wake you up again. Why is this and why can you not get a good night's sleep and why is it causing you problems? My name is Dr. Jeremy Andrews. I'm a doctor of chiropractic here at West Chiropractic in Surrey. And today I'm going to show you exactly why neck pain gets worse at night and what you can do to prevent it from giving you issues and make sure you get a full night's sleep. So with our neck, let's start. The neck should be a nice smooth curve. So essentially there are three curves in your spine to give that springiness and shock absorption through your whole body. So when you walk or when you jump, you've got those discs in between the vertebra. So let me show you this. This is a segment of a spine here. This is actually the lumbar spine, so the lower back. The neck vertebra are gonna be smaller. These are the knobbly bits that you feel on your back here. These are the nerves that are exiting here, and then these are the discs. So the discs, they act as cushions and stabilizers and help absorb some of the shock through the body, making sure that that weight isn't necessarily going all the way down through the vertebra. Now, what can often happen is when these curves don't get aligned properly, it's gonna cause problems and more weight to go through those discs. So we see from the side there should be a nice smooth backwards c-shaped curve here and then what it does it goes into your thoracic spine the curve reverses and then the curve will go back to the same as the neck in the lower back. So three curves essentially give you that springiness and shock absorption through your whole spine. The most common type of spinal deformity or spinal misalignment that we see is something called a cervical forward head carriage. Cervical being your neck, forward, always like this, and then carriage is just the word that it's, it's called. So with a cervical forward head carriage, that's gonna cause problems with your neck. Now, when the neck comes forward like this from desk work or using iPhones, a lot of us are at a desk for eight, nine, 10, sometimes 15 hours a day, and that puts a lot of stress on our neck from the side like this and cause the neck to come forward and put pressure onto the disc. Now. Over the day, this can get worse, the stress can build up and it cause more problems with the surrounding ligaments and muscles going into your neck, which can often mean by the time you get to relax in the evening or lie down for rest at night, the muscles are so tight and they're causing a lot of problems around the base of the neck and the shoulders. This can often cause problems with sleeping in that you fail to get to sleep or you're really struggling to stay asleep. A lot of our clients say they're okay getting to sleep because they can relax and ease into it, but then the neck pain wakes them up at 12 o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock, and once they're up at four o'clock, they really struggle to get back to sleep. When you're not sleeping, this can cause other problems in terms of irritability, problems at home, and causing lack of productivity and concentration at work as well. So let's talk through what we can do before you get to sleep to ensure the neck is nice and relaxed, and then I'll show you some things that you need to do when you are in bed to make sure the neck is in the best position to not cause problems there. So first one, before you get into bed, it's very, very simple. You can do this when you're relaxing in the evening, if you're watching TV or reading a book. Very, very simple, just start rolling the neck around like this. Now you need to be careful with this because you might hear some grinding or clicking. That's okay. I just call this the figure of eight roll. So you're going backwards and forwards and then go the other way. Figure of eight roll. Be really careful when you're going over your shoulders, when your head's tipping back, that can cause problems. Just be careful on those. Good, and you wanna feel the stretch through the neck here going into the top of the shoulder muscles. It's a very simple exercise just to help rotate the shoulders. Now, what you don't wanna do is have the shoulders hunched up like this. That's gonna cause a lot of stress around the shoulder there, so make sure we're not doing that. Let the shoulders relax down, pull the shoulder blades back, roll the head from side to side, down, back, and around like this. Okay, anything from 30 seconds to a minute is enough to get some movement in the joints, some ligament work done. That's gonna be a really nice way to optimize our neck for when we go to bed. So the second thing I like to do before I go to sleep is use the massage gun. So remember, this turns on at the bottom here. You've got a number of levels you can use. So this one goes up to 30, so I would suggest using 18, see number 18 there, using the opposite hand onto the shoulder. I'm gonna work this all the way up and down my shoulder muscles, taking pressure off those muscles there. And I wanna make sure that my arm is not up like this. Keep it down, retracted. 
Same thing on the other side here. Again, just taking pressure off those areas. Good. Now, if you want to use this on your neck, you absolutely can. But just be careful. As soon as you put a massage gun onto bones, it's going to cause that vibration or that jittery kind of head type feeling. So you just want to take it easy with this. So I would use it like this. Again, maybe just turn it down a little bit to sort of 15 halfway. Very gentle, just up and down the neck like this. And from the back. So I'm just going up and down. I'm going to use the other side as well. Keep my head retracted, taking pressure off those areas, okay? This is also a great one that I love doing as well. And essentially you're trying to get the muscles going into the top of the skull nice and relaxed. So one arm out to the side, and then what you're gonna do is then pull the neck over this way. You should feel a stretch all the way down here. Now what I can do is I can increase that stretch very gently just by pulling like this, okay? And I wanna hold that for 30 seconds. You may get some tingling in this hand here. If you do, just, just make sure it's not too much. If you are getting a lot of tingling, then you wanna just wanna stop. And if it happens again, then obviously give us a shout, make, drop a comment in the, in the video below, and we can give you some advice on that. Same thing on the other side, so arm goes out, gentle overpressure here, it's gonna stretch all the muscles down through the neck. Okay, great, so those are three things that you can start now before you go to bed. Think of it as a habit or a routine to ensure that your neck is nice and loose after a long day of work or if you've been exercising, you need to make sure that neck is in a good position before you get into bed. Now, what can you do when you get into bed? So my first tip is the pillow. Obviously you're gonna be lying on a pillow for at least, hopefully, eight hours of sleep every single night. Now, the pillow is vitally important. If you are using a feather pillow, you need to make sure the amount of feathers you're getting is consistent every single night. Very often I see clients with two or three or even four pillows piled up because they can't seem to get that consistent support every single time. Now, what happens when we don't have a consistent layer in between our shoulder and the bed is that it can put pressure on the neck. Now, the reason is your body doesn't get used to a certain level. So one night you may have your neck like this, one night it might be like this, or one night it might be completely neutral. That doesn't allow the body to have time to get stable. So we need to make sure that we're getting stability through there. Now, what you can use is a memory foam pillow. Now, I know you've probably tried these before, but you need to give it at least three weeks to ensure that we're getting enough consistency for the body to get used to it. So the pillow that you want is not an orthopedic pillow with the rim. The pillow that you need is a flat shaped pillow. It's gonna have about five inches and it's gonna be completely uniform every single night when you lie on it. And the main thing is you wanna make sure that it's completely straight, your head is neutral, not putting stress or compression on either side of the neck. Okay, now let me show you how you should be lying. So remember the pillow needs to be uniform form like this. So the pillow shouldn't be too high like that or too low on my head like this. You need to make sure it's completely flat. This one might be a little bit too low so you can see how my head goes down like this. Now you want to make sure you're lying on your side. If you have any shoulder issues then don't lie on your side. But what you want to have is the arms out in front of you like this, the knees at 45 degrees, legs at 45 degrees. Keep the spine nice and neutral, not rolling too much like this, not like this. So completely on your side like that. I often hug my shoulders like this. You can do that, but often it puts a bit of tension on your shoulders. So you need to make sure that arms are like this, and also you're pulling your shoulder blades down and back. Now, the question is, how are you ever gonna do that when you're asleep for eight hours? Well, if we start like this, the premise is that if we do wake up, we can try and bring that back into a better position and restore that normal place. So starting like this, often have the arms just resting on the bed. Obviously this works if you sleep on the left-hand side of the bed. Obviously you'd be on the other side if you sleep on the right-hand side of the bed. Okay, so those are my top two tips for when you are lying in bed at night to reduce that neck tension building up. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for our regular updates every single week. And also you can grab copies of my best selling books here on the show notes below. The Secret Cure to Back Pain and How to Transform Your Back. There's lots of information about neck pain in this one as well. See you next time.